Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the Sand Test Room. Today we are taking a look at Scram. Yes, we are revisiting Scram. Scram, Scram. Okay, so, uh, yeah, Scram hasn't been updated for a couple of years, but this is iOS 12, latest iOS 12, iPad Air 2. You can still download it from the App Store. It still works. So the idea behind Scram was you have these four... Uh, little instruments here. You, have, you can have drum machines, synths, things that do different things. There are no presets for the synths. You just sort of adjust the settings. And I think the idea was that eventually they were going to add loads of these little instruments and stuff. But I, I guess the app was kind of abandoned uh, because it hasn't been updated for two years. There was no, other than one or two, there was no new ones added and stuff like that, which is a real shame. And it's quite sad, really, because uh, Scram was great. It's it's a lot of fun. So let's clear out by, you can click, like, swap around. You can see the actual, by tapping this, you can see the actual patterns here. And it has pattern sequences similar to figure, that kind of thing. Uh, a couple of different ways you can do that. So let's have a mess around. We let's to delete a pattern. All we need to do is hit this little X here, and then this X, and then this X. And they'll delete all the patterns, so it'll be clean. So if we swap around on this nine oh nine, you can see you have two patterns to play with. You can clear that one as well, and we can just add in our bass drum here, and then choose snare and. And then we could add some uh, hats. Pretty cool. If we go back to the front, we can select an instrument to edit here. So let's edit our snare. <clears throat> and then we can go to our Orphic instruments here and start to edit that. And this is what I meant about it being similar to figure, the way you edit the notes. You can... You can go back to the main screen. Has a nice little mixer. So you could do some nice cool stuff with the drums as well. If we kind of mute the other instruments here and just have a listen to the drums, <clears throat> let us clear this uh, pattern out, this first pattern. And if we choose our snare here, if we start by opening one, we can... We can have little like 
velocity ramps going and we can of course then go the other way so you could do some really cool stuff if we go back and choose our tom here And then you could also change the scale and the, and the key. So what you had was a few different instruments. So you could eject an instrument. Let's eject this Orphic here. And it will take you to the instrument bank. And you can you can just have, say, four drum machines or two drum machines or all the same synth. It didn't matter. Uh, but you had this drum machine, this heat stroke synth, which you've seen, then the Orphic, which I'm going to replace, then the Scram, which is kind of acid bass music. And it, that was the one that was in the bottom ball, I think. And then you have this uh, other drum machine, which is kind of like an 808. Um, so I mean, we could add that by putting it in there. And what will happen is once we reject an instrument or reject it and put a new one in, the pattern will be blank. So we can build up nice little drum patterns again. <laughs> Thank you. 
and there we go, it crashed. However, there you go. So, you know, where is it? Where is it? Can we get it back? Yeah, see, it crashed. I, I should also point out that it, it runs as um, into, into App Audio. It, it does show up down here. I can find it again. Uh, where is it now? There. So it does work as, and I think you could export. You, I don't think you could save. There was a lot of things it needed. I don't think you could save. Uh, you could export your mix kind of thing and you could record it. But I don't think you could save various mixes. It's Like I said, it's quite sad, really, because it, it Scram was a really good idea. And they were going to add... Um, they were going to add all these uh, new modules as time went on. And I think when it first came out, it was quite popular, you know. But uh, I, it's a shame that some, when some of these really great apps that have loads of potential... Um, you know, like I said, it, I, it, it, they'd equipped it with Link with you know audio bus and stuff. Um, runs still runs on iOS twelve. Um, but yeah, I just I wish it was. Uh, I wish that um, it would have carried on being adapted and you know improved upon and stuff, and it it would have been really good. Anyway, there you go. <laughs> if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Oh, please consider becoming a Patreon. And uh, yes, yes, revisiting Scram. I should revisit a few others as well. Older ones that still work sort of thing. It's, it's remarkable that it still works, but, you know, it does. Anyway, I'll stick a link in if you want to go and have a look at it. But, um, you know, I think it's pretty much... Um, a done deal now. Um, I think that just changes on its own. That was just the developers. Anyway, guys, listen, thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Ta-ta.